What's up, everyone? Happy Thursday. It's another We Ride at Dawn 365 Live. And we are at a whole new location today. So we are down over here at Grant Pond or Grant Park over here in Hewlett. Can't take for granted all these really cool places that are around us. Oh, Kevin Brady's on. We can get going. It's official. Kevin Brady's on. He's been MIA last couple of days. Says he's working or something. Oh, Dawn's on. Dawn's on. Good morning. Great morning. Look at that. I think this is probably the first time I've been here. Grant Pond from Grant Park. I've been to Grant Park ice skating, but the first time checking out this pond. Might be a new uh, a new place on the circuit. All right, all right. So I saw Kevin Brady yesterday with the uh, rest of the boys at the Malvern Firehouse. Uh, there was a telephone pole on fire. It's kind of interesting. The high voltage line was touching a new pole they put in, and then. Uh, lit on fire and luckily no one lost power because the AC was cranking yesterday but um, all the guys showed up but they were on standby waiting for the power to be shut off and uh, appreciate everything that all the firemen in the town do and firemen in the world do uh, another putting your lives on the line to uh, protect your fellow man uh, it's very honorable uh, volunteers so uh, thanks Kevin and the boys for always uh, showing up so um, Today we have Janine with us, solo rider. Force of Average took out the rest of the crew, but Janine got up and came out. So it's always good to see a smiling face in the driveway when I come out. But um, uh, I was trying to think of a topic for today. And uh, of course it always shows up. Uh, started talking to Janine and um, come join the fire department, Kev. Yeah, I was gonna do that like 23 <laughs> years ago. And uh, you guys trained on Sunday, and uh, that was like when I first started going to the Hamptons, and that was like not going to happen. So we joined the police reserve 23, 24 years ago, and uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Can't give up Sundays, especially in the summer. But I think you guys switched it to Wednesday in the summer, but still, maybe one day. But anyway, back to topic. So uh, we are talking to Janine, and um, if you remember a while back, um, we stumbled across... Uh, my mother-in-law and her friends in uh, Hendrickson Park praying and they were praying for their friend Liz who was actually uh, had stomach uh, cancer and was having her stomach removed so uh, pretty pretty hefty surgery um, most people would uh, you know probably uh, take the victim mentality and, uh, and surrender and give up and uh, Janine tells me yesterday um, her daughter is friends with Liz's granddaughter and Liz showed up and was with her granddaughter and was going to the pool. I mean, that was like three weeks ago and she's already back out in the world and, and, and living life and good. right. What? It feels good. Right. Feels good. Um, yeah, Janine, Janine talked to her and, uh, I just think it's just pretty amazing. Like, you know, if you were told that you had stomach, you know, you had stomach cancer and you were just gonna like give up and she just said nope we're not doing this she had her stomach removed um was it, it's kind of like a bypass surgery sort of kind of like a gastric bypass they reconnected her intestines to her esophagus and she's out there in the world i mean it's just it's just amazing she looked great just amazing so you say uh power positivity the uh, anti-victim mentality and uh the power of prayer everyone was praying for her obviously uh it came through. Uh, another story, Malvern Fire Department, Guy Benamo, uh, Guy's good friend, uh, dad of four, um, throat cancer, neck cancer, and he refused to give up, refused. And he texted me the other day and tells me that um, they removed the mass and all the cancer cells were dead from, I guess, the radiation, and basically all the cancer is gone. I mean, freaking amazing. Like, these people, like, I don't know how they do it. Like, you know, victim mentality immediately sets in. You go, 
something happened to me, I got cancer, it's it, that's the end, I'm giving up. And they refused to give up, just refused to give up. Like, like seriously, like um, amazing, amazing way to think about it. So uh, yeah, he's on the mend. I mean, just so when stuff goes on in your life and uh, it kind of beats you up and you kind of want to give up, think of those people. I mean, there's a whole ton of them out there, but it's two that uh, close to me that uh, really, like I said, how do you do that? You know, you have major, major cancer. You think that basically you're done. You refuse to give up. And a couple weeks later, you're like back on the mend and you're back to life. Um, just the power of positivity, power of positive thinking. Um, don't be a victim. Um, people, uh, your, people would pray to have your worst day. Um, again, someone that's going through cancer and you're worried about uh, a relationship that's going bad, uh, uh, losing your job, um, minor things in life, really, when you look at the whole perspective, uh, versus, you know, oh, oh, we, have a friend. we have a friend over here. Can you hear him? A bullfrog over here. He's probably like, shut up, I'm sleeping. Yeah, we woke up the bullfrog. So uh, anyway, so that's today's message. Don't be a victim. Um, don't let anything get you down. Power of positivity. Oh, you hear him? Is that a frog? Yeah, I think it's a bullfrog. Nature is uh, interrupting our message. But um, all right, everyone, so that's, that's the message for today. Don't be a victim. Think about these people that, uh, again, had major cancer and are beating it because they refuse to give up. So refuse to give up. Um, pray for the people in your life. Obviously, it makes a difference. Um, these two people are coming through. They had lots of prayers behind them by a lot of good people. And, uh, yeah, really amazing stuff. So now it's prayer time. We'll put Gene on the spot today. We have no father, Eugene. Oh, what was that? Look at the ripple that effect, that fish, sign. yeah. God just gave us a sign, a giant fish just jumped over here. I said ripple. prayer and we got a ripple. So uh, we're gonna keep making ripples in the world. So, all right, all right. So let's let's get to prayers. I'm putting you on the spot, yeah, we're gonna do it. Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Amen. Full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. We say that Hail Mary today for Liz and her continued strength to fight and get well. She's amazing. I can't believe Seeing her the other day, I just was in awe of the power of prayer and God's work and her strength and her positivity and her wanting to be there for her granddaughter, Quinn. And uh, just amazing, amazing stuff going on. Thank you, God, for another beautiful day, hot day. Hopefully it'll be a nice sun sunny day again. And uh, keep everyone safe through the holiday weekend. Sure. Make smart choices. Yeah, make good choices. Where's my buddy Mark? Mark's, listen, that's my buddy Mark's slogan. Make good choices every day. Make good choices. And say hi to the bullfrog. <laughs> and with that. <laughs> and with that. <laughs> so, all right. God bless everyone. Um, yeah, keep everyone in, in, with struggling from cancer in your prayers. Um, Liz, Guy, and everyone else out there with cancer. Um, just it's a, it's a tough disease, and it's uh, it's it's beatable. It's curable. Um, people are doing it. So don't give up on life. Don't give up on the world. When bad things happen, push forward, pray, and uh, make it happen. All right, everyone. Have a good Thursday. Happy Thursday. Oh, oh today we are representing uh, the good in the world. Let's see if we can get the full shirt on. I wore the shirt before, if you can see it. Believe there is good in the world. Be the good in the world. You got to believe. You got to be the good. Make a difference. Go change the world. Kevin Brady, get back to work. All right, brother. Dawn, we'll see you soon. And uh, tomorrow, 6 a.m., we ride at Dawn. Let's see if we can get some people out. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. Just do it. No excuses. I was very, very hesitant to do it, but I ride inside on a spin bike. I actually ride with Susie Lewis two or three times a week, and the weather got nice, and the room got dark and gloomy, and I said, you know what? I got to take this ride outside and look at nature a little bit. And Shit. I was intimidated by the wake-up call. And some days I make it and some days I don't. But I aim to make it every day. 
You have to. If you don't make it, you don't get to see this in the morning. This is how we start our day. This is how we start our day. Oh, turtle over here. You get to see turtles. You get to hear bullfrogs. We get to see ducks and bunnies. And geese and fish jumping and all kinds of good stuff. So wake up early. Come right at dawn. Be the force of good in the world. God bless everyone.